Hey everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance of From Zero to Hero series. Our last run we played as Lazarus and we had a kind of a weird run because we ended up doing Hush, I think. I can't remember exactly what happened but we ended up going to Hush and then we went to Delirium after it so we've beat Hush Delirium but we haven't done like hard modes like the Dark Path or the like Light Path. So, a bit of a weird one to unlock first, but anyway, we got some unlocks at least, and all I can ask for at the moment is that we keep steadily unlocking things. So that goal, we're going to play as Maggie. Maggie has only done boss rush, so we don't have to worry about that, which is very nice. And then she's only beaten uh, Mum's heart. Let's go. So any victory is basically good. No. I do have to make up Dunn's cap at some point now that I think about it. So Dunn's Cap again is kind of an item that, I'm not going to say splits opinion, but some people think it's actually okay. Because Dunn's Cap means I don't shoot forwards anymore, I'll shoot left and right. Or like, as a, sorry, on the diagonal. Which means that aiming is kind of scuffed. Now, it can be good with certain effects. Like, I think if you can get, like, conjoined, it's actually pretty good there. If you can't, it's pretty heinous. In my opinion. Now some people like it because as I mentioned before, a lot of enemies don't like you oh, sorry, they, they kind of block you from shooting along the horizontal and vertical. So actually taking that circumvents it because you can shoot along the diagonal and own the diagonal. Now counter to that is there's a lot of enemies that stop you shooting along the diagonal and they then become hard to kill. For example the black spiders, the tar spiders whatever they're called. Uh, by the way, our active item is Yum Heart. Yum Heart will give me a red heart if I have an empty red heart container. Okay. So Curse Rooms, because I've also got 4 HP, aren't too bad to do as Maggie. And Devil Deals will be really nice, but I need a Spirit Heart to protect them. I have to remember because I've just done, I've come off the back of like a few lost runs. I'm not the lost, I can't just steal everything. Uh, okay. Just focus on the enemy at a time. I would like a bomb as well. I'll go back in the curse room if we can get a bomb. Even at the cost of another HP. Just to blow up the spirit fires and get the chest. In fact, retrospectively, I probably should have got the chest while I was there. But I really need the bomb to make that dream happen. It's honestly worth going back in, actually, even if I don't get the bomb now that I think about it. Could red chests often a spirit heart, so... I say often. They have a chance of being out as a spirit heart. Okay, a lot of gated poop enemies. As in, like, I've had a poop gate that I have to shoot out to let them break. Okay, red heart is nice. Oh, it's so nice not feeling in a rush to be boss rush immediately. Right, I did get my item room item. I still don't have a bomb. I kind of like having a bomb for the first boss as well. Just to like circumvent a bit of the time. Let me explore this glass room. Hmm. Uh, I'm just thinking, sorry. I shouldn't go in the curse room immediately. I should fight the boss first. Okay, we didn't actually get a bomb on the entire floor. That hurts. Uh, so you know what? Screw it. Let's open the chest up. So. Uh. Dead walking master? Never mind. Okay, I found my bomb. Okay, it was worth a spirit heart. This was kind of like what I was worried about. In fact, this was stupid. Why did I go in there first? I was kind of like, oh, if I don't have a bomb, I'd rather take red heart damage walking in. But I could have still done this at the end. There's no bomb in my shot. I have no money for this. Well, not enough money for the spirit heart. If I get two more coins, I'll buy a spirit heart. We'll take the red heart that's in here. And then we're going to do a, our absolute darndest. To not get hit. Protect the half spirit heart. It's so valuable for you. Because again, Maggie's one of those characters that if she can start getting devil deals, 
So we can start to like ball out control potentially. Depends on the devil deal. Please leave me alone. See how much nicer this fight would be with a bomb. Just throwing it out there game. Uh, okay, in terms of other weaknesses, by the way, from Maggie, Maggie's very slow. So I only have 0.85 speed. I think she's the slowest character off the start. So we will, at some point in this run, really want a speed upgrade. I can already feel it now that, like, dodging's kind of a bit scuffed. Like, you just feel a little bit sluggish to react. So we want to be trying to push this up to, like, 1.2 or higher. I kind of feel like that's the comfortable cap. If you're above 1.2, there's normally not a lot to complain about. Probably the only enemy that's not true against is Dogma. Who I think you need to be even faster to dodge that spinning world blade attack. But we're not worrying about that right now. This is from Zero to Hero. Uh, I kind of hate this room. But as long as I'm patient, it's actually pretty easy. Like I said, pace. Ugh. Pace. Your patience, don't test your patience. Could, could you let me out, please? Okay. We're gonna just deal with you at range because I'm so, like, I wanna be so protective of this spirit heart. That even if this room takes me, like, five minutes, I think it'd be worth it. I'm just gonna sneak one in right behind the rock. Really annoying room, this. Come on. Okay, you need to work with me a little bit here. Thank you. Oh, a tinted drop. A bomb game. I've not had one for one floor. It was a very funny joke. I can't hit you. I somehow missed you to the other side. Okay, good fight. Bomb and come back to this room. That is the king. Oh, I did get another spirit heart actually for getting a safety pin, but... It's actually a demon heart. Half demon heart, not bad to have. If I get hit, I'll just blow up every enemy in the room. Oh, don't get hit here, though. Not the enemy that you want to be wasting half the spirit heart on. Or demon heart. Right. I, I do appreciate the keys game, but... If you wouldn't mind, a little, tiny, little, little bit of bomb would be nice. But you know what? Let me deal with you guys before you shoot me into him. Would I fight the boss immediately? Maybe. Oh my god. I really don't want to though. Because it's going to be a long fight without bombs or any damage up. I guess I've had a DPS up to be fair. Just run. Obviously if you're going to get hit, get hit by the champion anyway. No, but that's bad advice. Okay, we have to play pretty perfect. There's our bomb, if only we walk down one room. Ah, oh, Isaac. Never change. Uh, let me shoot out the fires, because if I can get a penny as well, I could buy a spirit heart. Now we're just hoping for a good tinted drop. Right, two of clubs. To get into the club, you need a key. So this doubles our keys. I remember now. Hmm. Okay, let me see what this does first. Okay, it does give me a spirit heart and a bomb. I think I'm going to pop two of clubs more aggressively. Two of clubs. Did that double my bombs? Because that's what I thought it did. I don't know. It didn't double my keys for certain. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> it's 5am. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm sure I came up with the, the demonic of... Uh, entering the club, club with a key. Okay. If you don't enter clubs with keys, you can get in for free. That's my new mnemonic. Uh, please let me out the corner. Oh my god. As I mentioned, I've just been playing as the Lost, so rocks. I'm kind of ignoring them at the moment, but I can't ignore rocks because I'm not the Lost. I can't fly. Item room could be big. Thank you for going on the fire. Actually, 
huge for me. Come back. I have three bombs as well, so I can bomb the boss to circumvent him this. I'll try Monster as long. He's going to have a big charge up for my attacks, but now I fire a bunch of tears at once. Good for entering rooms, but kind of annoying for dealing with lots of enemies. However, one enemy at a time is fine. Monsters of Lung, pretty good against bosses. Okay, speaking of bosses, we're going to go fight the boss. Uh, I do have enough money to keep the shot, at least. Hmm... Bomb for Diplopia, Diplopia the shop. Is the value proposition worth it for me? Depends on the pill, actually. It gives me a key, which is five cents. A spirit heart, that's five cents. It's probably not worth it. Jump heart's actually an item that I kind of underrated, in my opinion, for a lot of afterbirth, at least. I kind of had it in, like, the bottom tier of items. I'd kind of be disgusted to see it, almost. But I feel like it's actually... Okay. You know what? Oh my god. Why now? You're kind of annoying to hit with bombs, I'm not gonna lie, boss. Uh, we'll just do some charge shots. Okay, have that and just don't move. Thank you. Okay, I'll do the rest of my tears. And we're good. I'll pick up the HP. Maggie doesn't mind having red hearts. And we'll take Mum's knife and be on easy street. Okay, devil deals don't matter as much anymore. Uh, what is this synergy? I assume this is Monster as Lung, but... Weird. I don't think I've ever seen this. Anyway, let me see for second secret room. I know I can save it for a tin to drop. I was pretty confident it was there. We should play this. Blood banks are also better with Maggie because I can regenerate health with a young heart. You know what? There's also a red heart over there. I don't know if I can access it actually, but I'll risk it. This is probably as aggressive as I'm willing to go. Let me go get that red heart if I can. It's on the room with the trap, isn't it? Okay, I can get it. Uh, let's go at the bottom so I don't have to weave back around the top. I could check the curse room, but I'm not going to. I think. No, I'm not. I'll protect the half spirit heart a little bit longer. Give me that, and let's go. I have mentioned before, I have to do all path runs eventually for these characters, but I'm going to unlock as much of the base stuff as possible. Maybe if I'm feeling a bit fruity then. I'll go on the alt path just for a little change of pace. Again, I'm not the lost. I can't just fly for the key. You are bound by the earth. Ooh. How would people, like, and again, I'm just going to throw this out to the commenters, but you can't really uh, answer me except in the comment section. How would you feel to have the ability to fly? Like, if you just suddenly sprouted wings or, like, even like a t like a, almost like a telepathic thing where you can just like or kinetic type thing where you can just control yourself and make yourself just fly in the air like Superman style. Because I think I'd just be pooping my pants. My superhero name if I just had the ability to fly would be like the Brown Streak because I don't like flying that much at the best of times. But if I was in control of it as well, I think I would hate it. Like, I don't want that level of control by destiny. If I just, like, suddenly, like, I don't know, clip a building or something, or I get stuck in some light, uh, sorry, some power cables, that's it, you're just dead. I appreciate the... And, and also, like, stuff like rain. You're not going to want to fly in the rain. You don't want to get your wings wet, or... your suit wet or something by flying around in, like, virtually no visibility. I think flight is a nice idea, but kind of overrated. Now, teleportation, that is where the money's at. Ooh, okay. There goes our spirit heart. There goes our deal chance, but it was pretty low anyway. 
Uh, okay, we just need to like focus up a little bit more before I talk about flying. But yeah, I've never been like a big fan of heights. Again, I feel like it's something I've got better at over like time as I've got older. Same with flying, like it used to really like bother me, like aggravate me. Now, it aggravates me, but kind of bothers me a little bit, but I can deal with it. I could tell you though about one of the scariest flight experiences I had, which was in America. So I think I was flying from Philadelphia to Indianapolis. And so this is a short flight, maybe like, what, an hour, an hour and a half, maybe? Again, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty certain that was the flight path anyway. It was like an hour long flight. And I'm just sat there and as I said, I'm kind of nervous. So when I'm a bit nervous, sometimes I grip like the armrest or something as it's taking off. Just like hold something on, like just hold, hold on to something. Makes me feel a bit happier. I say happier. I don't know if that's what it really is, but I'm just like tense gripping things. So I'm just sat there and I'm like, okay. Like, the takeoff is the worst bit for me. After that, generally, I'm fine. Like, just the coasting altitude is okay by me. I've been burnt by this item a few times recently, but I think it's the best one. I can also now take Pop Rocking Head. But yeah, we're cruising along. I say cruising along. We take off. And I'm gripping the rest seat and we're like, we elevate and there's like this sudden like turbulence as well. Like we're on the takeoff or maybe it's even just like, you, you like had to rise or ascend very quickly suddenly. And my air mask dropped down in front of me. And I just was not happy about this, as you can imagine. I'm just thinking, okay, something's happened and like this is automatically just kicked in. And it's like, okay, you're gonna need to put this on. And I look around, like, that moment, and by the way, I'm meeting my nickname of the Brown Streak at this moment, because, you know, your air mask has dropped, dropped in front of you, you've taken off on a, an American flight, and a lot of the accidents of planes happen during takeoff. So I look around, like, after my, my life flashes before my eyes, and no one else has dropped down, so I'm like, okay, it must have been jostled down. It's like, that wasn't cool, like, life. I did not enjoy that. But what was funny was uh, after Fair whatever it is, five minutes when you were starting to hit like cruising altitude and the air hostess is coming out, the air hostess comes to me and it's like, uh, excuse me, sir, why have you put that down? And I'm like, I've not pulled this down out of like necessity. It's not like I was like, oh, suddenly I want a little puff of oxygen. It's like it, it, it broke and it's dropped down in front of me. So I'm like, Honestly, I was like taking a gasp by the whole situation. It's like almost accusing me of like ripping the mask down to like have a little puff. I found pills. So I'm like, no, like tears down. This isn't what happened. It's like I haven't pulled this down. It fell down, and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. It's like let me see what I can do about that for you. Never saw her again for the entire flight because like there's no food or anything because it's an hour long flight. But. Yeah, I had to spend the entire flight with the oxygen mask just in front of me. I know I didn't stick it down just to see what a, a puff of oxygen would be like. And in fact, I don't think that's how the the mask systems work again. I'm not someone that's familiar with planes, but I'm pretty certain they have to turn it on, the system. I don't think just because the mask drops down, it means that that sweet, sweet uh, O2 is being produced. But yeah, that's probably my scariest flying experience. I had another like kind of spooky flight when I was younger, which honestly maybe was what part of the cause for me not liking flying that much. Where I was on a flight, I think between Jersey and Guernsey, which if people don't know, that is two Channel Islands, like the southwest of the UK, not on the mainland, and they sort of border between like fr France and the UK. So like all the street names are, like in French, but it is an English like uh, territory. It's like self-governed, I believe. And it's very nice there, by the way, so I would recommend both Jersey and Guernsey. Never been to Alderney, and I've not heard good things about Alderney, so sorry for my Alderney viewers. Maybe you can convince me otherwise, the joys of being on Alderney, but I believe it's the smaller of the Channel Islands, of the main ones. Not including, like, Herm, for example, which literally you can walk around in, like, an hour. Which is a very small island. 
but yeah. So I was going between Jersey and Guernsey. I can't remember which way around because I said I was very young. And we were on a plane, but obviously this isn't a main flight path between Jersey and Guernsey. You know, they're not huge places. So this plane was like a pretty small one. I don't know the name for it, but there was probably like 16 seats on it, maybe. And we hit some turbulence, you know, British weather and all that. And this plane shook for like maybe 30 minutes or something. Like it was really bad and like very heavily shaking. More so than I've ever experienced before. And I was just like, again, brown streaking the entire flight. Let's just put it that way. And was not happy by the whole experience. Uh, this doesn't matter actually. Because I have one's knife. So my damage is still good. But yeah, I'd hate to like go in like the single man planes, like like a, a two seater plane. Because I imagine the turbulence is even worse there. Oh, okay. Perhaps don't just like hang around by him. You know what? I was going to bob drop and head you, but I'm holding it for no reason at the moment. I'm talking about planes. There is also the uh, temptation to complain, but I don't think this is like a like you know, a hot take, for example. Airplane food, pretty rancid at the best of times. Now, occasionally you do get like the odd thing, which is nice, but for the 99% of the times, it's pretty bleak. I'm trying to think what was the nicest thing I've even had on the plane. It's honestly nothing memorable. Uh, I'm going to hold on from taking that for now. I'm not quite confident I'm going to hold on to the spirit heart. That being said, I'm going to buy a spirit heart. Uh, and you know what? Take take one of these and call me in the morning. Okay. <laughs> I can blow up the statue, sure. Doesn't matter. To come back to the run again, the more spirit hearts I get as Maggie, the less good Yum Heart becomes, so... We will be considering swapping Yum Heart in the future. I'm kind of holding on to it for now. Just in case I can... I don't know. I guess in case I get an arcade. But that's about it. Right, let me just melt him down. Okay, I just followed the fire again. Like a good dog. I'll take this. Okay, take okay. Oh my god. Do we risk it for a biscuit? Thank you, game. <laughs> Thank you for letting me come back in. I mean... That's good. That's... Okay. Oh. You know what? That's not a bad selection of things. Now, I did fail my dag walk. Part of the reason I did this is because I've got an eternal heart. But I have removed one of Maggie's great things. So now, Yum Heart, you, your days are looking a little bit numbered right now. But yeah, 25 cents, so that means my shop is more enticing. Now, I'm not going to buy just a random item in the shop because most of the shop items are pretty bad. I'm just going to throw it out there. But a random devil deal item, I'd say on average, a average devil deal item is better than an average item pool item. So I think it was worth messing about with. Possibly should have quit while I was head on the but we didn't. We have Mum's knife anyway, so I'm pretty happy with the run. In fact, considering when we got Mum's Knife, we could have considered going on to the alt path with this. But I'm a bit out of shape on it, on all honesty. Uh, if you've been watching my other series, you'll realise that I've been mainly focused on doing the... Uh, what I've been calling the up path, but the home path. I'll try this. Okay. That was worth. So yeah, I've not done alt path for a while, that helped. Not because, like, I don't like the path. I do like the path. 
I just feel like it's easy to do the up path and unlock the tainted characters. Tainted characters have a bit more variety as well, and variety is the spice of life. This is wealth at what cost, by the way. So I think you get double room rewards, but room rewards are less likely. I think that's how it plays out. Can I get four with one bomb? No. I did get payment though, so I'll take that. That helped. <laughs> In terms of what this room's missing, I'd just like to stack damage now. I mean, it's Mum's knife, so it's good damage. But, you know. You know, a little bit of greed. Give me more. Uh, help. <laughs> I would like that key. So, here we go back into the, the puzzle. You think I can solve the puzzle? Yeah, I can. Uh, okay, we'll try this. Crawl bomb. Gives me white coat hanger. Okay. That is a good deal so far. Depends if you get hit though. Give me that. Tears up means I charge faster, I believe. I think that's how it passes it for Mum's knife. The faster I charge, like the more damage I do. And there was wealth at what cost? Two bombs. Okay, brain. I kind of just froze for a moment and then I was like, what are they doing? It's like, is one going around the edge or are they just all going in a circle around the uh, the voids? But no, one is going around the edge. Maybe two were actually. But still, it doesn't mean you just sit there and watch it happen. Okay, hello pin. Hello pin. Good fight. Anyway, wealth at what cost is pretty good if you get it early on. I don't think it's incredible because, as I said, I think items become, sorry, it becomes less probable to get room items, so maybe increasing luck improves that. Uh, you know what? Give me... Why have you pulled the bomb out? That's not what I've asked you to do. This one I can blow up there. What just happened then? I think I glitched the game out because I bobbed rotten heads on the bum's trinket charge. Again, answers in the comment if I didn't glitch the game out. I'm just stupid. Oh my god. Speaking of being just stupid, don't again tank pin hits. Okay. Brain, just stop panicking. I can't hit him. Okay, cool. Not gonna lie, I don't think my HP is as good as it used to be. I don't think I'm in the territory of oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, but I think I'm approaching it. Also, just aim with your main knife. Right. Second secret room question mark? Second secret room question mark? Hmm. I haven't had my item room yet on this floor. Let me go back. Let me just peep the shop too. Yes, yum heart. Oh, you know, mm. Sun is actually pretty nice. I'm not gonna use it this floor, I'll use it next floor. But it's mapping and HP if I need it. If I lose devil deal chance, I know I'm on less than two hearts. A uh, key for seven coins. Oh, it's also a bomb. It's actually not worth it. Gemini, sure, have a friend. More damage. Yeah, that's not worth it. And I think we're let, ready to go. By the way, holding Bum's box of trinkets also makes your trinkets better. Not sure what it does for this one, though, because I think this just means that sometimes if I open a gold chest, I don't use a key. I think that's its deal. Not a good hit. Okay, can you please stop summoning these guys? The best way to do that is to just kill you. Okay, I'm on less than 2 HP. I just lost my Devil Deal chance. Justice. Chariot. World. I mean, I'll pop World. Tower. Oh my god. Pretty terrible selection of cards, honestly. We're going to take the Sun. I guess I'll go back and check my second... Sorry, my first secret room. 
You know what? Go pick up the half red heart. We can pull out of this run. The run is good enough. And honestly, our devil deal chance was so low anyway that it kind of doesn't matter. Kind of. I could blow up blue fires. I'm just saying I could blow up blue fires, but am I going to go blow up blue fires? Maybe. Where were they? Yeah. Uh, any more luck? Okay, definitely worth it. Okay, incredible look. Have they changed the look again on these, or am I just lucky? Because I believe they changed it to 10%. But I got 50% like payout then, which is really nice for me. It's honestly potentially run saving, but I don't want to admit that I played that badly. Okay, down we go. I still can't see my HP. Anyway, I'm gonna sun in here. The sun. Mum's trinket. Not what I'm after. Uh, I kind of want the two keys, but not very really easy to get them. Finally, I got an arcade, by the way, but I've now given away my items that made it kind of good. Let's bomb into my secret room for three bombs. Uh, I was going to bomb into the arcade. You know, I'm going to bomb into the arcade. Why not? Okay. There's a donation machine in here, so if worst comes to worst, I'll donate. Now, oh my god. I might consider doing push. The run is good, but not incredibly good. Now, is a big part of the reason that's the case that I've taken maybe like 12 or 13 hits more than I should have done. And yeah. But you don't get to like point that out at me. I get to point that out at me. Hmm. Okay. I was wondering if it was going to give me a reroll machine. Well, that's what I was hoping for. I would have re-rolled, but oh my god, you split the difference. We'll take little monster. He's not bad, but again, not exactly incredible. It's a bit like one of those runs again where we've just had like okay items across the board. I'll try monkey paw. I don't mind it. So I think monkey paw is like when you get hit, there's a chance the finger like twists down or like pulls back. What's the action that bends over or something? I don't really know what to call the action. And I think you get a spirit heart or something, something along those lines. But it might be only when you get to like half a heart, so it might be completely useless. Again, my trinket knowledge, not easier, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm not going to do the room below, and honestly, I don't care about the curse room, so. Let's kill these one at a time. I dodged into the shot. As I mentioned before, and this is our From Zero to Hero series, so I guess I'll mention it again. One of the big things, like the barriers to getting into the game, is just learning enemy patterns. I knew his pattern then, so I don't know why I dodged, because he was always going to miss me. No. I should also be remembering I have Bob's Rotten Head. And I'm not using it at the moment. <laughs> missing poster. Uh, what does Missing Poster do again? Oh, it's Necronomicon effect, isn't it? Pin? Pins. Many pins. Unfortunately for you, Pin, I have a knife. Right, are you greed? Yeah, you greed. Hmm, where am I time-wise? Okay, I'm not in the hush race anymore either. So I'm thinking I'm going to go back to the arcade and just donate the money. 
this run's been incredibly slow, actually. Again, kind of an issue with Maggie being slow, but... I don't know why he's been so slow. I'm just looking at my items right now. And this is a pretty good selection of items. I, I guess it's been waffling on about airplanes and stuff. That's probably what's done it. But let's just try and get a W there. Well, we gotta look up. I've saved 29 coins. Because he won't let me donate anymore. I've mentioned before, I have to fill that donation machine up at some point to get an unlock. So I'm being a little bit like... I'm being nice to the donation machine. I'm not bombing it at like, every single opportunity like I do on my other save file. I should really bait these out. I'm pretty slow. I say pretty slow. I've got 1.35 speed. That's actually good. Okay, not the reward I was hoping for. I was hoping for a bomb and a card and like two pennies, but... You know, you can't get everything you want in life. I was going to say, I don't think these are the secret rooms, but I'll try. Okay, how do you like Mum's knife, Mum? Killed by your very own knife. Okay, just focus a little bit. You haven't got that much help. Uh, I can't take this. Because I don't know what my health is, and I think I might be on two red hearts. Yeah, don't just kill yourself. That'd be stupid. I was like, shall I take the risk? Maybe I'm on like half a spirit heart. No, I was on two red hearts. It would have killed me. Sweet. Good fight. Okay, this is a bit dangerous then. I'm not going to lie. Especially when a pin just appears in front of you. That makes things a little bit more scary. Not interested. Give me the half red heart. Because if I get hit twice anyway, it doesn't matter. I die. But I can't go into the curse room because they kill me. Okay, that's Monkey Paw. I went to half a heart, so it twisted and gave me two items. Because I guess of... Okay, Brain. Yeah, I guess because of, uh, what's his name? I'm holding Mum's Trinket. Ooh, that's a speed up item, but... Uh, no, give me the Monkey Paw back, please. Okay, this could be big. I could kill him as well, but it could be big. Okay, I do keep getting hit like once every room. Dark Bum is very nice. Okay. New plan. I'm going to do the floor. Because Red Hearts can now become Spirit Hearts. Dark Bum is an incredible item that was nerfed. But I still think he is very, very good. I've also got like double rewards, so there's a pretty good chance that I get payouts. Would you like that, Dark Bum? I'm also going to try and find second secret room. I was going to say, it's pretty unlikely to be there. You get used to some like secret room locations, and that didn't feel like one of them. Dark Bum, do you want to take this? Hmm, let me think about that. Oh, there's pin. There's lots of pins. There's lots of things. Just keep running. You're getting, like, hunted down by the entire pin family. Uh, hello, Millie. I see in my periphery that you've decided to join me on this adventure. That I might take. Help. 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 Oh my god. Well, we got a payout again on Monkey Paw. I only get one more payout, I think. What's up? Let me come back to this. 
because I think I will do that. Bizarrely. You know what? Maybe I won't do that now that I think about it. Oh, you're climbing up onto the computer. Are you okay? I'm surprised you're not asleep, honestly. It's normally your bedtime now. No. Don't step on my stop stream key. Or stop recording key. You can sit there. Yeah, I, I love you too. But rubbing against my hand kind of makes playing the game hard. Look down. Pheromones. Terrific pills. Okay, you're kind of in front of the screen again. And it's in a bit of a busy room for it. Oh, thanks. You get off my laptop. <laughs> you little terror. Sit on the windsill. Jeez. Uh, okay. Increased chance of planetarium. Probably too late for that to be useful, but I'm kind of intrigued to see how that would have worked with... What's his name? Mum's trinket case, or whatever it's called. Speed, Speed up nice. Uh. I'll do it. Troll bombs and little spiders. Terrific. Terrific game. Well, I think we're about to take out Monkey Core again. Which on the plus side means I can drop it. And take the other trinket I wanted to. Two pins. Nope. I can't believe I've had so few red hearts, honestly. No. Okay, that made my mind up. I'll do this room. But right now, Dark Bum has not been of great service. And I think I'm going to have to take Monkey's Paw. Because I can't risk dying. Okay, we leave. I guess the big room might have the second secret room next to it, so I'll look for that as well. Because if I can get that red heart room, Dark Bum will be joyous. Are you here? No. Okay, we leave. Down we go, Millie. We're going to Womb 2, or Utero 2, I don't know which one I was on. Womb 2, I thought so. Uh, not the enemy should be targeting first. Okay, an arcade could be nice for me. I can blow it up and hopefully get... Hopefully get some hearts. Ooh, take these dark balls. You know what, actually I should pick up a red heart as well. Uh, you know what, take that. Not what I was after. Okay, we're gonna pay, play this, it turns out. Actually, we're gonna play you. Now that I think about it, I think you do pay out with red hearts. I'm not sure if the, the gambling machine does. I think it just pays out with money. Just saved your life, so maybe a red heart. A little red heart. Ooh, I would like to win this. Uh, second time looking. Okay, not after the kick. Red Heart? Mm, again, can we play for Red Hearts, please? Okay. I have to make sure as well I, I get this before Dark Bum does, if I do get it. Hello, my kids. Oh my god, you paid out scatter. Hello again. What's up? Was the window ledge not good enough for you? Was it not good enough for you? You're so dangerously close to turning my stream off, uh, my recording off. Can you please calm down, little miss Millie? Because I won't see it if you stop the recording. 
Oh yeah, I love you too. Kind of interrupting the video, but I'm sure our audience doesn't mind me spending like one minute to stroke my cute little kitten. Aren't you? That being said, please don't step on the uh, numb eight key, because that will stop my recording. Uh, okay, get on the floor then if you want. Sorry, I have to watch this, because... Well, if the recording stops and suddenly the video ends, you know why. No, that's actually the key. Okay. Down you go. Would you like to let, let you out again? Sure. Here you go. If you want to go out, there you go. Bye-bye. The indecision. Your bum is in the door. Just leave. There you go. Sorry about that interruption. Literally, I was like about to start playing again. And she put a foot on, probably like num 5 key. So my heart skipped a beat for a minute. I mean, if I do notice it, I suppose I can restart the recording. I'm just going to blow you up. Okay, no hearts. Sure. Sure. Bombs. Mom's trinkets, not good enough. Okay. Remember my Bob's Rotten Head still? Speaking of Bob's Rotten Head, are you in the secret room? Nope. Something I kind of underutilized, honestly, Bob's Rotten Head this run. It's as good as like the reusable bomb. Which I was singing the praises of. I think in this playlist, actually. Maybe even in both. But. Not gonna lie, I've not really had my head in the game, I think, this run. So again, our. Ooh, a tinted drop. I apologize to my believer uh, brethren if this run doesn't go well. When I got given Mum's knife. Pretty early on as well. And no, the tip is terrible. Hmm, I'll do this. I don't really have use for keys anymore. I'll steal the half heart from now. Ooh, shoot the whoop. Would I take shoot the whoop? Uh, you bet I'll take shoot the whoop. You know what? Well, that kind of ruins it. That's shoot the whoop. That's also a red heart. That's mine. Boom. Okay. That is really good for me. Because now, you can miss every enemy. I was going to say, you just walk into a room and you push shoot the whoop. Turned out to be a very annoying room to walk into and push shoot the whoop. Oh, hello, your royal highness. Have you decided to grace me with your presence again? Health up is nice. Look down isn't. I'll hold on to pheromones. Uh, by the way, Monkey's Paw is now a trinket I'd probably swap. I don't foresee me losing this amount of HP again. Okay, we need to be a bit more aggressive to shoot the whoop, actually. Like, I should be running into the room and just, like, firing the laser down and moving on with my life. Uh, try the trinket again. I don't remember what you do, so I'm not going to do it. I would go into the opposite corner. Mum's knife should make light work of oh, it lifts. Pretty easy boss, obviously. The depths are dark, sure. Terrific hit. Uh, anyway, down we go. Wouldn't mind one more red health, would I, Millie? And then I can feed Dark Bomb. Horrible room. Okay. I'm on one HP again. That doesn't help me. What are you up to back there? I can just hear, like, destruction. Okay, 
kill the ghost. Just hide a little bit. Play a little bit cautious, because I think I'm one hit from dying. I had to shoot them, but... Oh my god. Be shoot the whoop. You know what? A trinket that gives me red hearts. That's what we want. Oh my god. Scary room. Okay, thank god they stopped them. I can't go in the curse room because it'll kill me. You're trying my patience, young one. Okay. Uh, oh my. Oh, okay, I can get on you now. The key doesn't matter. Not a red heart again. Oh, hello. I see you're sticking your head behind my keyboard again. Good use of shoot group there. Right, trinket. Brainworm ding. Uh, I think I need this for protection right now, but I'll come back and take that when I destroy my monkey paw. Okay, good fight. Put shoot the whoop on again. We just want to find the boss as soon as possible. Okay, I recognize this room. Hey, I did it a little bit better this time. But again, no red hearts. Uh, and I think the game's broken. There are no red hearts in the game anymore. Just be careful of the spiders. Well, I guess that's going to do it for this part, isn't it, Millie? I thought Monkey Paw would keep me alive, but it didn't. I was one hit away. Didn't see a red heart for two floors. It happens. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. We'll, I guess, repeat another magic run next time and try and get some more locks done. See you next time. Goodbye.